Hi guys, so here we are after reading chapter 13, 13 of the book of Matthew, and now it's time to review. So in chapter 13 there was a lot, especially with the parables of Jesus, and yes, I think I counted was. about seven parables, so let's get into it. So what spoke to you this evening? So Jesus started off um, by telling a few parables, and in verse 10 and 11 is the disciples come to him and tell him, um, why do you use parables when you talk to people? And Jesus explains to them, um, jumping to verse 12, he says, To those who listen to my teachings, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. So, to me, this stood out because it really, it really tells you the importance of reading our Bibles, of wanting to learn more about God and just whatever is written for us in the Bible. You know, the more we read, the more knowledge that is going to be given to us. And the more we, you know, want to get closer to God, the more we will. But if we don't care, then it's, you know, it's going, we're going to lose it. It's like, you know, use it or lose it type of thing. And um, by the way, this is the NLT version. Um, I just liked how it explained it better, how it worded it. And then if we jump to verse 15, it says, For the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes. So their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand. And they cannot turn to me and let me heal them. So this to me sounds almost like, you know, Jesus wants to help them, he wants to heal them, but they don't care to listen, they don't care to try to believe or, or see what he is trying to teach them or, or share with them. And you know, it reminds me of us, you know, just people in general today where it's like, oh, I have to see it to believe it type of thing. But you know, we have to be careful with that because that's where faith comes in. Faith helps us to believe in something we cannot see and the Bible and prayer is what helps us grow our faith and um, I'm going to kind of tie it into the last verse I know you're going to jump in with some other Somewhere verses in between, in between yeah. but um, I just feel like this just ties in so well and this is um, verse 58 and it says, and so he did only a few miracles there because of their unbelief. So oftentimes, um, I just hear stories of, you know, people who aren't really caring to really build a strong relationship with God. And they get upset because their prayers aren't answered. But the Bible tells us that if we don't believe, if we have, you know, if we don't care to believe and we don't care to pay attention to the things that the Bible teaches us, then God cannot work miracles in our lives because we are choosing to refuse to listen, to refuse to see, refuse to hear. And I mean, that's why these verses stood out to me. But now jumping on over to you. So what spoke to you? So for me, I decided to choose one of the parables of Jesus the parables of the wheat and the tares. And if you're looking for a good book on the parables of Jesus, I would recommend the book by the name of Christ Object Lessons by Ellen White. It's free, search it up on Google and you'll find it. But with this parable, it begins by saying that the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. And then it goes on to say that an enemy ends up sowing this bad seed. And back then, if you wanted to get a revenge on someone, what you would do is you would sow seed in your enemy's field. Mm -hmm. And the seed that they would sow in, this, in your enemy's field would be a seed that would grow with the wheat and it would resemble exactly as it was growing the likeness of the wheat. So you couldn't tell whether it was a tear or a wheat you just knew that oh yeah my crops are growing everything looks good it wasn't until the end that you soon realized that there was weeds like or tears the at the bottom growing together so jumping into the story 
the verse I decided that to choose from the story was verse 28. And it says, He said to them, Jesus speaking, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, and but gather the wheat into my barn. So what Jesus is saying here is that in the church, because remember he was speaking to church people, in the church you're going to have two classes of Christians, those known as wheats and those known as tares, the weeds, right? Mm -hmm. But he says if you decide to maybe separate the wheats from the tares, you might do it too early and you're going to ruin the wheat with the tares, which if we read this kind of the one of the verses it's the servants asking the master if they could gather up the tares and uproot the wheat with them it wasn't jesus the owner wanting it wanting to do it it was the servants mm -hmm. us as servants in the church sometimes if we want to separate the good people from the bad people we might do it too early and what I mean by that is, you know, Jesus tells a story about the Pharisee and the tax collector who go into the church and pray. And it was the tax collector who had the prayer right, and it was a Pharisee who didn't. So we might see someone in the church who looks like a Christian, talks like a Christian, but inside of them, they're the worst person ever. And we might look at also someone who just looks like they don't belong there. But they're trying to get right with God. And I think if we start separating people and kicking people out of the church because of how they look or what they say, we might do it too early. Because in the end, according to this parable, it's Jesus who separates the wheat from the tares. Yeah, it's not on us to judge. Yeah, and that's part of... And, you know, Jesus has been saying that since the beginning of Matthew. You know, be careful how you judge because the measure you judge is going to be measured back to you. Mm -hmm. How you treat others, you're going to be treated the same way. Yeah. So if you decide to separate and decide what members belong in your church and who doesn't, you might do more harm than good. Mm -hmm. So hopefully one of the parables that Jesus spoke to you, or maybe it was something else, you know, make sure to leave your comments in our video, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless you guys. Bye.